Hey everyone, welcome to Metal. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of 22 mag and 17 HMR action. Let me show you what we got here. For the 22 mag, we have this Savage Model 93, I believe. Yeah, Model 90, 93. Yep, I can't read there for a minute. Good little rifle. Mag fed, bolt action. Good little Parsica scope on it. And the 17 HMR. Yeah, I know I gotta read them every time. This is a Marlin model 17B. Got that bull barrel on it. Yeah, both of these are good little rifles, and I really do like this one here. Mad fed, bolt action. Uh not sure about that scope. But I can see through it, and that's all that matters. And we're not shooting a long distance anyway. What we're doing on here, we're just going to see how many water jugs. Uh, if we get super lucky, we'll catch a bullet. I don't know if we'll get that lucky, but at least we'll get to see how many water jugs each one of these will do. I mean, Y'all throw down in the comments what you think. The 17, I'll do the 22 mag, or vice versa. Let me show you the ammo that we have for these. For the 22 mag, I got some Norma. These are jacketed hollow points, 40 grains. Yeah, that's good ammo right there. And for the 17, I got some Norma. These are VMAX polymer tip, of course, 17 grains. Now, the little 17 is faster than the 22 mag. According to this here, the 17 is 2560 feet per second. And the 22 mag is 1885 feet per second. But is it going to be the speed or the mass that gets us through more water jumps? Like I say, y'all throw down in the comments what you think. All right, guys, let's grab us some ears here. These are a little loud and it's cold out here, so yeah, that'll help keep my ears warm. All right, let's do uh. Do the 17 first. Sounds good to me. Grab one of our little Normas here. Yeah, I know I got gloves on. It's hard to get them out. But uh, it's that cold out here. There's that little 17 that we're going to be shooting. Yeah, that's a wicked little round, no doubt about it. Let's say I've got eight of them up there. Uh, hopefully that's enough. This is a fast little bullet. I'm surprised your water jugs ain't frozen. But I think it's just uh, just a little above freezing out here. Let's see if we stand right here. We're good and straight with that. And uh, hopefully I can get a good trigger pull. I'm going to get us a good shot, guys. And I think we got us a good shot. We are clear. Well, let's run up there and just see how many the 17 took out. Now, well, like I say, we had eight of them up there. There's one on the ground here. Boy, did that bullet expand in that thing pretty good. Yeah. Yes, it did. So that's one. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What, just one? That bullet expanded that much. Yeah, I don't see a uh, mark in any of these others. No, not a thing. I don't know if can y'all see down in there. I see little bitty shrapnels. 
And I mean little bitty too. Yep, that's all you can see is them little bitty specks of brass there. Man, that bully gave it up quick. But that expansion was awesome. Well guys, I did not expect that. I thought that 17 was going to go through a lot more water junk than that. But, I mean, that thing just went in there and went all to pieces. But the expansion was great and it really blew that junk apart good. Alright, now let's try our 22 Mac. And these are, uh, like I say, jacketed hollow point. Get one out, let's take a look at it. And got a good size hollow point in it for a 22. Yeah, no doubt. Well, what do y'all think this one's going to take? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw out a guess on this. I'm going to say it's 22 mags going to go in. It'll at least get three jugs. Maybe get caught in the third. I didn't put no more up there. We got seven jugs remaining. I think that'll be plenty. Let's get all lined up. Same spot. And uh, see if we can make this shot. We'll watch the trigger on this one, it's a little more sensitive. So we're straight, yeah, right here. Got a good shot on her. We are clear. Well, let's run up there and see what that does. Right, walking up here, yeah, we definitely got more than one with that. There's two down here on the ground. One, the red one's still bleeding. Which was actually, the uh, red one would have been our first one. There's the entrance hole right there. I would assume. Yep, because that's the exit hole. And look how I split that thing open right through there. That's cool. Well, when that thing expanded, there's the entrance. And there is the exit. Far out. Well, was two of them. Don't tell me it was only two. We had seven of them up there. Ha! See that right there? No exit. Almost dropped all of them. That would have been uh, not too cool, would it? Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so no exit on that one. So we gotta have gotta have a bullet in there somewhere. Well I'm not seeing it. Well we got the entrance right there. Don't see no exit. Could have hit and bounced off, but let's go ahead and dump this one just to be sure. I think a bullet bounced off. I'm not hearing it and I'm not seeing it. And I know I didn't pour it out. Well, I will be. I said we would catch it in the third, but it didn't. Apparently, it just had enough power to crack that one and it popped off to the side somewhere. Guys, there we have it. I mean, uh, I would have thought. Both rifles would have went through more water jugs. Is it because it's cold? I'm using good rifles, good ammo, get a good shot on them. I'm only 30 feet away, so we're not losing a lot of velocity or anything like that. It's just uh, a little bit amazing that it did not go through more than I thought it would, but maybe 
That's just the way it is. I mean, the test showed it. 17 HMR. Just made it into one, didn't make it out. 22 mag, made it through two. Barely cracked that third and bounced off and went somewhere. Who knows? It may have just disintegrated as it went through. But still, I think it was a cool test and it was fun to shoot. Well, hope y'all enjoyed that. Like I say, I enjoyed shooting it. Both these rifles are fantastic. And I want to throw a thanks out to Hootie Hoo for loaning me these rifles for this video. I appreciate it, bud. Everybody throw him a thanks. Well, guys, if you would, throw me down some comments, questions, suggestions. I always appreciate it. If you're able, run over and hit us up on Patreon. Show some support there. And if you would, please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, thanks for watching and for everything that y'all do. Much appreciated. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.